Hi, I'm Scott Humphrey, CEO of the World Floor Covering Association, and this is Leadership Live. I want to talk to you today about the people in your life. There may be nothing more important that you do than surround yourself with the right people. Let me explain why, and I'll start as a parent. Something you've heard your parents say at some point, something I've certainly said to my kids, the people you surround yourself with will determine your reputation. It may be unfair, we may not like it, but the reality is people associate you with the people you associate with. And so if they see you with people of questionable character, then you have a reputation of also having questionable character. I think that one's a given. So let's move to the second one. The people you compete with will determine your level of performance. So when you compete with people that are lesser than you, then you don't really improve your skill set. I remember playing my best friend, Kirk Hemphill, in tennis years ago. Kirk was the tennis guy in our community. And if I ever beat Kirk, I would get so excited. And he said, Scott, you know what? He said, for you to beat me is a big deal. But for me to beat you is not really a challenge. And I understood what he was saying, that it's better to play with people that perform at a higher level because that improves your level of performance as well. You may have heard the story of Jack Katz. Jack was a linebacker at the University of Florida many years ago, and the coach would have them run with their squads throughout the practice. And so the running backs would run together, the linemen would run together, uh, the linebackers would run together. Well, Jack went to the coach and he said, Coach, is there any way you would let me run with the running backs? And so the coach said, well, sure, if you want to run with the running backs, but you're going to get beat. He said, that's fine. So he runs with the running backs, and sure enough, he gets beat each time. And finally, the coach comes to him and he says, Jack, don't you, don't you want to run with the other linebackers so you can at least compete? He said, Coach, my job is not to catch other linebackers. My job is to catch and tackle running backs. And if you'll notice, every day I'm getting closer and closer to their speed. Why? Because Jack Katz was performing with people that were at a higher level than him. And that brought up his level of performance as well. And finally, the people that you allow to hold you accountable will determine your ultimate success. It's one of the missing links in leadership is that we really don't like accountability. We, we have things in our life that we really don't want other people to be aware of, or we commit goals that we're afraid we won't hit. So we don't share those goals because we don't want other people holding us accountable to them. But the truth is the people who hold you accountable in your life will determine your ultimate level of success. This became very real to me in a story I've shared with you before about a triathlon I did many years ago. I trained. I'd never done one. I wanted to do one. I found a partner who worked with me, and we exercised together. We ran together. We biked together. We occasionally swam together. And I told everybody I worked with that I was doing the triathlon. The day of the triathlon, I show up. It's my time to go in. I go in. I, I programmed myself that I could swim just the distance that was necessary to complete the swim. And as I'm going in, I get kicked in the head. I'm pushed back to the inside. Now I'm off course. And I realize I haven't trained to swim any more than is necessary. And I begin to panic. Finally, one of the boats comes to me and says, Sir, do you want to get in? And I said, Well, if I get in the boat, can I finish the rest of the triathlon? They said, No, sir. It's a competition where you have to do all three parts. You do the swim, you do the bike, you do the run. I said, No, I can't because I've got a partner out here competing with me. And I told him I would finish. And I also told my son that I was doing a triathlon today. I have to complete the task. I can tell you that without that accountability, I would not have completed that triathlon. I hope that's a small example to you of the importance of accountability. I joined a CEO roundtable this week, had my first meeting with them. And it was so comforting to be around other people who had the same challenges and maybe the same fears that I do. And being with people that were performing very high at what they do challenges me, encourages me, but also gives me a safe place to have those vulnerable conversations. Let me recap. The people you surround yourself with will determine your reputation. The people you compete with will determine your level of performance. And finally, the people who hold you accountable will determine your ultimate success. People matter. Not just those you manage, but those around you. Remember that. Set the right example. And go out there and lead.